She's my lawn. He's Tyler. And together we make my time. Let's get started. How to insert a Foley catheter, aka an indwelling urinary catheter. So this is what the Foley kit looks like. Before getting started, I want to make sure there is trash can in front of me, slightly underneath the bedside table. Wash my hands and use hand sanitize. Make sure to explain the procedure to the patient and get their verbal consent before starting. I am now lifting up the blankets to expose the peri area. I would then ask the patient to bend both of their legs outward and remind them to stay still. If they can't, then have the second nurse help you keep the leg still. That is important because you don't want the patient moving around and run the risk of breaking your sterofeel when everything is set up. I will now remove the inner kit out of its plastic packaging. Set the kit aside. Roll the plastic packaging into a mini little trash can. And put it on the side by the patient. This will be handy later when I am disposing my trash. A label will come with the kit and you should give you information what is included on the kit. I like to make a mental note of the size French so that I can chart it later. Start by removing the top flap away from me. Then the bottom flap. then the side, and then the other side. Imagine the one inch margin outside is non-sterile, so you can touch that but not any more past it. Grab the square drape from the top and not the sides. Step back and open it away from your sterile feel. Drape it behind the patient's legs, still ensuring the sterile feel is in your line of vision. There is a diamond shaped drape that you can put over the patient's peri area. I personally don't like using it, so bye. I will now grab the sterile gloves and apply it on the side away from my sterile feel. There is a separate video I made on how to put sterile gloves, which I will attach a link at the bottom in the description box. So please make sure to check it out. Inside the kit, there is an antiseptic iodine solution packaging. Tear it open. Depending on different packaging, there can be iodine cotton swab sticks. I personally like those better because it's not so messy when I take them out. Ensure patient is not allergic to iodine. If they are, there is antiseptic chlorhexidine as an alternative. Don't worry about the syringe right now. You will need it later. Turn the kit around and put it on the side. Don't cross that invisible outside one inch margin. Then grab the loop that is provided inside. Tear it open. Put it back inside. Now, grab the syringe and connect it to the port that has writings on the side. That also tells you how much cc's to push in. Standard is usually 10 cc's or 10 milliliters. Put it back inside. Then, grab the rubber part of the catheter, which usually has a sterile blue plastic covering on it. I like to wrap the rubber catheter around my fingers as I slowly and carefully remove the plastic covering. This ensures the catheter doesn't fling around accidentally while removing the covering, which can break my sterile technique. Pick up the open loop packaging and insert the catheter inside. This is just preference. You can squirt it onto the tray and dip the catheter in the lube 
Through trial and error, I noticed that can get messy and slippery for me. Once looped up, you can put it back inside. Pick up the small tray and put it inside the large kit. Move the kit onto the square drapes. Move the smaller tray to the inside. With the hand closest to the patient, make a V around the patient's outer labias. That hand is now non-sterile and should never touch the kit. Grab the tongues and pick up the saturated cotton balls. One swipe, top to bottom, outer right, outer left, then middle. Grab the lube base rubber catheter, insert it into the urethra opening located between the clitoris and the vagina, then carefully advance. If you meet resistance, don't force the catheter in because that can cause trauma to the area and pain for the patients. Once you see urine draining into the back, then advance one inch in to ensure you are fully in the bladder. Inflate the balloon by pushing the syringe plunger. Keep it pushed. Give the outside catheter a little tug to make sure it stays in. Then disconnect the syringe. Take off the dirty sterile gloves and put on clean gloves. The steps are the same with male patients. With the hand closest to the patient, hold on to the shaft of the penis and clean the urethral opening with an inner to outer circular movement. Grab the catheter, insert, then advance. Because the bladder is farther away from the urethra opening with males, I will insert all the way up to the bifurcation or splitting of the catheter. Grab the outside rubber part to stabilize. Inflate the balloon. A little tug. Then disconnect the syringe. I have taken off the dirty sterile gloves and is now putting on normal clean gloves. Grab the drainage back from the kit, uncoil the tubing, making sure there is no loops. Attach it to the side of the bed. Never attach it onto the bed rails because those get moved up and down and can pull on the catheter. The green clip just clings onto the sheet of the bed to make sure the tubing stays uncoiled. You want passive gravity draining, not urine backing up because that can cause a UTI. Apply stat lock on the patient's side thigh. Stabilize the bifurcation part onto the Foley stat lock. Close and lock it in place. Make sure the outside rubber tubing is slightly loose and not taut. This allows the patient to move around freely without the catheter tugging. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Bye!